pictures that I chose and I really like this gardening one I'm actually going to create a little gardening pack so this one is specifically going to be themed around gardening so I'm going to cut them all out create all individual stickers and then put them in a little bag baggy and write gardening on the top so this page was really really cool um, to work with now if you guys don't have magazine ripouts um, then you can also do this with dried flowers you can do this with photos if you have a Polaroid camera it would also be nice to create stickers out of your um, Polaroid images you can do this with stamps so if you've got a whole bunch of stamps you can stamp onto paper and then make stickers out of your stamps um, what are some other ideas like packaging like if you wanted to make cute tea packaging stamps um, there's a lot of different ways you can just get images or things and then turn them into little um, sticker kits So I just spent the last hour cutting these out and holy moly, it felt like it took so long. Especially these small ones because there's so much detail in cutting each and every one out. I absolutely adore this. I can't wait to make a garden set. It's so cute. <laughs> So this sheet here is a double sided sticky sheet so basically all I have to do is peel off the top layer, layer, stick these ones down, cut them out and then you can actually peel the back off and then we'll put it into a little baggie or actually we could put these ones onto our clear um, plastic. Let's do that because then they will be sticky and you can just pull them straight off the clear plastic. All right, so I want them to be roughly that big and I don't want to use all of the double-sided paper. So we're going to cut it roughly first and then we can make a neater cut later. So let's do that. If we want to actually seal the top, we can get our thicker tape and making a layer at the top because they're quite small so they might work. So we don't want to make sure the line goes over that one so we'll do that. Oops. Oh, it's ripping. Okay, that wasn't a good idea. That bubbles. Damn it, I ruined it. Okay, let's try to do this better the second time. So don't do what I did. Don't make it bubble. So let's try that again. So we want to pull it really tight. Oh, these actually... The tape's not thick enough. I'm going to have to do it that way. That worked. Yay! It didn't bubble. Okay, that one worked too. Now, we'll just need to cut it out. Do you like them? I like that it's got a shine on top. Oh, cute. Okay. Now that we've cut them out, we're going to put them on this clear um, plastic. So... Do you reckon I should do the whole thing? Maybe I want to fill it all up. So maybe two more. Although I don't really have two more things that would match. I like this style. So I might cut it off there. Or actually, if I put them down below, then when I wrap them, I can put like a label there. So maybe I'll to keep the top clear. So to put them on here, we're actually going to peel off the back. Oh my goodness, it's so cute, it peels perfectly.
And there you have it. We made our first sticker pack. Don't you think that's adorable? Oh, I love it. Let's keep going. So the next one, I'm just gonna put the tape over the top and I'm just gonna put it on baking paper. So I'll show you guys, this would be the easiest one for this because I don't wanna waste my double-sided tape because those are usually better for smaller stickers. I think I might just use the baking paper. So all I have to do, rip some baking paper and I'm going to use the spots that are less ripped because see how this will kind of make it a bit creasy. Now baking paper will roll like that so just get it and gently roll it the other way without making any creases because you want it at least crease as possible just because you want it to sit flat. Cool, it sits flat now. So here comes the sun and nick it yourself. Cool. So all you have to do is, we have to put the sticky tape down first actually. What am I doing? Wait, where was here comes the sun? Oh, it's a little bit too thick. What about this one? Yeah, it's pretty much perfect. So I need to trim this one down the tiniest bit, but this one should be fine. And again, try to make it as flat as possible without any bubbles. So this is actually going to be the back of the sticker so that when you peel it off the um, baking paper, I'm just going to put this here because it's trying to curl on me, um, so that when you peel off the back of the baking paper, it doesn't, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's going to be the sticky bit on the back, so it's going to stick on top. Does that make sense? I hope so. Now to make them even more sticky on the back, because I'm going to be sticking a piece of sticky tape on the top and it needs to stick to the edge of this, I'm actually going to put double sided tape on the back so they're stuck to that. Um, just make note that double sided tape won't stick to sticky tape very well, this is just so it sticks on a little bit better so it doesn't actually peel off. And it will look like a real bought sticker. Oh, look at that. That is perfection. Yes. There's no bubbles. Ugh. Let's see if I can do a perfection again. Oh, no. No, I got a bubble. Can you kind of see that air bubble around the edge? where the two are sticking together. You want to leave a big enough gap so they don't peel off. Um, so if you want to, you can go around and try to seal off that gap as best as possible so that it doesn't have that bubble. Or you can just cut it and just make sure you're not cutting it too close to the edge. Whatever you want to do. I was going to say wrap it with baking paper, but I've got something better. Let me see. What do I have to display these? So this is just an A5 plastic sleeve. So I'm standing in a craft room with so many tags around me and I couldn't find the right one. So I just ended up putting this little sticker girl and another little sticker on it. But yeah, I thought that looked cute. It's like a little wrapped present. So I'm going to do this one next because it's quite big and I feel like it's going to be quick. The next couple of ones, because they're so intricate, oh, I think it's going to take me such a long time to finish this off. So I might just do a few out of these stacks over here. Um, but yeah, let's do this one. I don't know what I want to do this one. I'm thinking I might do... Now, tape is just a bit too small. So we could do sticker sheets again. I 
Okay, we can't do this one because it's the um, rectangles. We can do these double-sided ones though. But I've only got two left. No, how many can I fit on one? Because I really want this one here. This chick. I can only really fit on a couple, can't I? Can I move it around some more fit? No. It's not going to fit everyone. Sorry, these two are going to have to miss out. I really like this pack, I can't wait to use it. Alrighty, so uh, now I have all these little ones and what I'm thinking is because I really, really don't want to cut them all out again because it took me so long to do the last thing, um, I might stick them straight onto a sticker sheet and have them so, oh actually, I'll do double, I'll do the, um, not double sided tape, I'll do the big tape and then I don't have to actually cut them out. I can just cut like rows. And then when I'm going to go use them, then I can, um, yeah, just cut them out then. So if I'm going to do rows, I kind of want them the same size as this. Or I could just do, does this actually fit in here? Let me see. I think it's going to be too... Yeah, it is. But I could cut that down. Does that fit now? Yeah, it does. Okay, so I can stick them on here. See how many I can get. So I think I want to do the garden ones. Oh, the garden ones is not going to be enough. Maybe I can do these circle ones. Let's try. How many can I fit on here? Thank you. 